Primarily because we were aware in our lung clinics, uh, our non-small cell lung cancer patients were not doing as well as reported in the data when given whole brain radiotherapy for their brain metastases. And we were concerned that in fact this particular group of patients had a, a poorer prognosis uh, in the real world than in the trials that have been published thus far. Hence the quartz trial, which is looking at the quality of life after radiotherapy or steroids, and patients uh, who were not suitable for surgical resection of the brain metastases, nor suitable for any stereotactic approach, were asked to consent to be randomised on a one-to-one -one basis to supportive care, steroids and whole brain radiotherapy, or supportive care and steroids alone. And the most important thing about this study is that the primary outcome were patient reported quality adjusted life years. And so we wanted to see, are we actually providing clinically relevant benefit to this group of patients? This, or it's evolved to be the standard treatment um, in patients in general with metastatic disease to the brain from whichever solid primary tumour. And it's evolved because there hasn't actually been any other treatment to offer until very recently. Uh, now it has remained standard treatment in patients who potentially are still relatively poor prognosis, but we feel there may be nothing else to offer. Because obviously we are moving more towards systemic options and also stay tactic. Uh, treatment within the brain itself and that leaves probably the majority of our patients particularly in non cell lung cancer in a group that may not benefit from that so that's who we've actually asked to take part in this study we were very inclusive and very pragmatic so unlike other brain metastasis studies that excluded patients with a KPS of less than 70 uh, we we included those patients because they actually make up between 35 to 40 percent of our, our patient group. Um, so it was a very inclusive study. I mean, the outcome of this study was patient reported quality of life, which is then combined with their overall survival to give us quality adjusted life years. Um, the uh, what we have shown is that we don't seem to be, be providing any clinically relevant or statistically significant improvement in overall survival. And more importantly, we're not actually providing any uh, statistically different quality adjusted life years. So we feel that in this particular group of patients of non-small cell lung cancer with brain metastases, who are not eligible for surgical resection or stereotactic treatment, whole brain radiation does not appear to have any significant advantages and the primary toxicity of uh, hair loss, um, potential uh, loss of concentration on a, on a relatively temporary basis, it is better to do without that toxicity uh, and treat our patients in, with other expertise including palliative medicine but also including sensible approaches with dexamethasone uh, as required, as symptoms are, are required but also looking at new systemic treatments. But we really do think whole brain radiotherapy needs to be dropped from the standard of care. The bottom line on, of the trial and on our conclusions uh, slide was that given the lack of difference of only two days between the mean re patient reported qualities, Core brain radiotherapy should no longer be seen as adding any clinically relevant or significant benefit to this group of patients. We don't just know, but we're very keen to emphasise that for any further um, investigation of brain metastatic disease, the patient related outcomes are paramount and we've shown that we can actually measure and provide detailed quality of life data and symptom uh, assessment data from our patients and also from their carers. There's a huge wealth of data still to be mined in this study where our the patient's carers uh, were also asked about their quality of life and their assessment of their partners or their mother's quality of life and so that whole impact on the carers is still waiting for us to look at. So we don't have any specific trials to go to but we still have a huge amount of information to convey over upcoming months and years.